shell finding adventure. Oh, it's such a grey morning, but anyway, better than rain. Our first shell find today. I just walked out on the beach and spotted it. I hope you all know by now how much I love a roses. Wow, doesn't that one look good? I don't know if it's because it's wet that it looks shiny, but I'm hoping it'll dry shiny as well. It is a lovely eroded calorie. Oh, cool. Oh, look at that one. Wow, it is exceptionally old. You can see that it's all pitted from age and stuff, but wow. That is a cool auger shell. That is like a super rare find here. That one never happens. Oh, the big waves are continuing to be good to me. Please be whole. Ooh, 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 it is whole. Okay, oh, okay, there's a little, little um, hole right there. Wow, that is a very nice checkered bonnet though. My goodness. Oh, another bonnet, look at that one. Yeah, it's got air in it. Yeah, it does, I thought it was floating. Wow, it's a banded bonnet, right after that checkered bonnet. That's a nice find. I don't know, it had air in it, so it must have get, gotten like tossed up in the air or something. I've got no idea. Well, the uh, water got scary and high again. Let's hope I have another fantastic day on the rack line. Lots of uh, moon snails washing up on the rack line. Yeah, he is a very nice one. I love that red point on him. Oh, that looks cool. Ooh, it's joined. It's a very nice one too. This is what I would call um, a Japanese carpet clam. Um, it's also called a manila clam, I believe. Just a very nice bivalve that we sometimes find here. It has a huge range of different patterns. I've usually found ones that are more yellow in color than this. Goodness me, that's just very, very nice. Well, I found the shell pile. There's not really a good chance of me looking through it while it's underwater. Well, that's a nice crowned cone. I'm glad I grabbed that one up. The rest down here, though, might be a bit hard to see. Okay, it looks fine now, but I promise you. Ooh, conical moon snail. Ooh, a little triton shell. Oh, he's nice. I promise you the water will come up very, very quickly. Wow, is this one a giant hairy triton or is this just like um, one of the regular hairy tritons? That's pretty cute. Oh, that one looks rather nice. Let's take a look at him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a lovely graceful cowrie. Look at that big old brown spot on top of him. Okay, the waves are absent for half a second and I've just spotted this little beauty. Oh, the waves came back. Oh, stand up, I don't want a wet butt. Yeah, this one. I don't find too many of these, that's pretty nice. It's a foss shell. Uh, specifically the thorny foss or the common Pacific foss is its common name. I swear I already looked here. Um, it must have washed up in a wave. Wow, that's lovely. It's just a big old cherry cowrie. Got some black on the side. Ooh, a wave just like that one. It's got a bit of black on the side, but I think some bleach will take that off. Oh, look at that. Right after I picked up that big old cherry cowrie. This was in its spot after the wave took everything away. Oh my, isn't that lovely? It is a little juvenile Arabian cowrie. Oh, for sure I didn't see that when I walked just right here before. Oh, it's a big one. Get a load of that Arabian. Oh my goodness, he is large. He's very large, is what I'm trying to say. He's very calcified as well. Little blue cowrie tried to tumble away from me just then, but I managed to uh, track it. Oh, he looks like a nice uh, sub-adult because he's got so much color wrapping around to his base. Oh yes, we have the, uh, ooh, it's got gross stuff inside of it. We have the sunnest shellis, AKA the sunnies as we like to say, AKA, oh, I don't know what this fleshy stuff is. I don't like it though. AKA the sunglasses. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. They're green. They look green. They're not prescription glasses. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, I almost had my eyes slide right over that one. Oh, he is empty. Yeah, there's no snail boy in there, just a couple of rocks. It looks terrible on top. I'll need the wire brush to um, get rid of all of that because it's really caked on there. I don't know if you can tell it, but yeah, 
It's a worm cone. Not usually one that I find too commonly, so that is super nice. Wow, that one's just sitting there. I'm obviously the first one that's picking any shells out from this side of the beach today. Oh my goodness, that's another lovely checkered bonnet. It looks super good except for that little bit of roughing right there, but oh wow, it's got some very nice textures on it. Wow, big old zebra shell. Wow, he's a very, very black and white one. I don't know, usually they have more like gray or green or something on them. Cool one though. Oh, look at that one. Did you spot what I was excited for yet? Yes. Yes, look at that. <laughs> it is a brown lined paper bubble. Oh my goodness, that's my third one in like two beach trips so far. Wow, these things are not usually this common. I've seen a lot of bra like live brown lined paper bubbles lately, so I guess Unfortunately, they're very delicate creatures. I think the rough waves have really done them in this time. Oh, I just spotted this one about to wash away. It's very pink. Like, it's as pink as my fingers. Oh, it is a grape cowrie. Look at that one. I thought it was very worn away, but it's still got a lot of its nice stippling on the side. It's also called the stippled cowrie because of it. Wow, that's just a very nice pink cowrie. And it doesn't look like the waves are getting any smaller. Now officially as low as the tide is going to go. I really want to check the danger zone out there. I'm a bit worried about it though. We'll see how I go. Ah, oh, those waves are bigger than me and I'm standing half a meter above sea level right now. That's about as far as my confidence will take me. Uh -huh. Let's go look somewhere else for a while. Oh, I just picked up a pretty rock and I was like, ooh, where's the rock? <laughs> I found something way better. I'm sorry about my rock, everyone. Look at that one, stretch. <gasps> Are you empty? Are you? Uh, oh. <laughs> Are you empty? Yes, I do believe it is empty. Look at that nice one. It's a lovely ring top cowrie. Ooh la la! Um, it's been a while since I found out such a light coloured one. It feels really glossy and smooth though. I usually find them with like more of an orange ring and a very dark grey in the middle. That's just a lovely cowrie. Holy seashells everyone, isn't that a big bit of sea bush? Can I grab it out? Oh that's a... Whoa! <laughs> that's a fair whack bigger than I thought it would be. Oh my goodness, look at that everyone. Wow, that's a big, that's big. That's like my biggest, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm saying big too much. Um, I don't actually collect sea bushes. I don't really use them for decoration or anything. Wow, that is super impressive though. I might leave this for the next beach go, but holy schmoly everyone, that is impressively huge. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Are you whole? Oh, it is whole. Yeah. Awesome! I really like the scallops with these white streaks through them. That is absolutely lovely. I also want to pick up a couple of these purple clams to go with it. Love these little purple clams. Purple clam. Oh, don't drop my clam. Oh yes, I am picking up a few pieces of lace cor coral off camera, but I always like to show this pretty, pretty purple lace coral when I find it. That is a lovely ruffly bit. Dog, you, no, you can't have the lace coral. Hello, who do you belong to? Hello, hello, you're a very good boy. Well, I was having trouble finding any minis. I, could, I wasn't even finding pheasant shells. All of a sudden, this one's here. Oh, he's nice on top, everyone. Oh my goodness, that is a lovely donkey cowrie. Ooh, super stoked with that one. It's been a while since I found a donkey cowrie. Always really love these guys. Wow, so the rack line, like the, the fun stuff on the rack line is like way at the back of the beach right now. Got myself a little bean trivia right here. Lovely bean, oh no, wait, wait, is he a smiley? He's a smiley glob trivia, there we go. Love my smiley beans. Got myself, where was it? Oh my goodness, there we go, got some pheasant shells. I'm finding a few pheasant shells way at the back of the beach today. There we go, nice one. Got a few more in my hand. 
And I've got a little scallop right here. Isn't he adorable? I've been finding a lot of scallops today on camera and off camera. Oh, wow, that one's a good size. I'll just get rid of that feather off of it. Yeah, that's a big Australian angel wing. I think that might be my biggest one yet, and it's all whole as well. That almost never happens. They are such thin shells. Um, was that, was that here when I walked past earlier? It must have been. It looks like it's caked in the sand. Yeah, okay. So one of those surfers the other day on those massive waves out there must have just lost themselves their surfboard fin. Oh, no way. I only came back to this side of the beach because I um, dropped my shell bag out of my pocket. Oh, it is empty. Are you kidding? Look at that guy. He is a lovely little giant hairy triton shell. He's lost all of his hair though and he looks pretty roughed up so I reckon the waves must have brought him up from somewhere deep on the ocean. That one must have just washed up as well. Oh it is empty and whole. Yeah it's a little Spangler's trumpet. Very very nice. I found quite a few of these. Uh, I want to say a few weeks ago now. Yeah, they're just really nice shells. They're very common down south, but I just really like their color and shape. Wow, that is even bigger than the first one I found. It is another intact angel wing. That is lovely. I mean, okay, oh no, I see a little hole there. That's fine though, that's fine. Got myself a big old Australian angel wing. Oh, you hole? Yes, of course you're hole. You looked hole on the bottom, you'll be hole on the top. It's one of those chevron clams that I like so much. Definitely, I just like the pattern on them. I think they're super, super lovely. Oh, 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 it is all. What you got a load of that one? Need some cleanup on the side there to knock off that, um, that growth or whatever is on it. But look at this big, lovely juvenile calorie. It's all intact. Its tip is pretty nice. I would guess it's another juvenile Arabian calorie. I am finding a buttload of moon snails today. Oh wow, that one looks good with that black stripe all the way up his swirl. Yeah, he's like a very nice thick one too. Okay, I'm happy with this one. He's a good moon snail. I have decided to do one last check of the rack line, but more at the back, because everyone will be like walking along the front, but oh my God, look at this one. My goodness, what's on top? Oh my God, oh my God. I cannot believe no one saw that today. Wow, that is for sure the favorite. Would you got a word of it? Oh my God. Oh, I can barely speak right now. Ah, oh, the sun went away, so it's a bit hard to see, but it is a gorgeous, like really, really gorgeous uh, spotted deer calorie. He's a really little one too, a little adult one. Or at least um, mostly adult. Or no, he could be a slightly sub-adult. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, I was up on a high from that lovely little deer calorie. Are you kidding? It's sitting right there. There is a great big dirty footprint right next to it. How did no one pick that up? Are you actually kidding? Oh, wow. Oh my sweet swirly seashells everyone. I was like thinking about leaving five minutes ago. Wow, I would have missed out on two amazing calories. This guy is a glossy gem and he's a sub-adult Arabian. Look at that, he's got all that color on the bottom right there. It means he's a sub-adult and he hasn't finished growing his teeth yet. His shell is like pretty light as well. Oh my goodness, he is so glossy and beautiful. That's super amazing. I'll show you the difference between uh, a glossy one and the one I picked up first. Look at how white that one is gone. Look at how nice the little sub-adult one is. Oh my goodness. So this one has a very, very thick base, and that's the adult one. But I mean, I don't know how many other shell collectors like sub-adult shells. I love sub-adult shells, especially sub-adult calories, because that color just comes all the way around to their teeth from the side. I just think that's absolutely spectacular. I'm still right up at the back because I've been emboldened with my uh, back of the rack line success. Wow, isn't that one kind of fan-freaking spectacular? Um, it is a type of oyster shell. I don't 
know what kind of oyster shell. It's very, very pretty though. Kind of holy, kind of lumpy, kind of lovely and orange. Yeah, and it's like a nice shape, like nice and round. That would like, I don't know. Oh, don't drop it. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's missing a lot of his lip actually. Look at that Hebrew cone. He looks absolutely lovely though. Got a lovely pink tip on him. It really pays to kind of backtrack your search and check, you know, the front, the shore, the rack line, and right at the back of the beach sometimes. So here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures. But of course, it's the end of the video, it's time to talk about a favourite and let me know down in the comments which ones are your favourites as well. I hope I can guess your favourites, I hope they're the same as my favourites. I got up super early, I came super early, I uh, saw all the crowds come and go and somehow right at the end I still found my two favourites untouched somehow. So like I said before, it pays to check the front of the beach, it pays to check the shore, it pays to check the rack line and sometimes it pays to check the rack line right at the back as well. I can't believe it. So uh, I got two favourites today, let's talk about the one I found first. It's this lovely spotted deer cowrie. They are also called the Pacific deer cowrie um, because there is an Atlantic deer cowrie which is also very nice. This guy is beautiful. I think he's slightly sub-adult because he is uh, got his colour showing right there against the teeth. Very nice. It's a very light shell. I can understand how the high tides and the waved waves pushed up this very light shell right to the back. Same with this guy. Oh my goodness. I am thrilled. Just thrilled to bits with him. He is glossy and gorgeous and gem. Um, I don't know why collectors Actually, I think collectors don't typically like sub-adult cowrie shells. I don't know if I'm getting that right or wrong. You'll have to tell me. I just think they're so much harder to find, just a bit rarer to find. They're just so much more delicate as well. And to find them in this kind of condition, that is just spectacular. Hands down, this one is my favorite ever Arabian cowrie, other than the first one I ever picked up because that's got like the nostalgic value of it now. So yes, that one was my favorite along with the beautiful glossy spotted deer cowrie. I will give some honorable, honorable mentions. This brown lined paper bubble is quite lovely. Really enjoyed finding that. Same with the ring top cowrie. This arosa turned out pretty nice as well. Got myself a little giant hairy triton right there. Also quite lovely. And you know what? I also really like this uh, joined uh, Japanese carpet clam. I think they're just wonderful shells. And yeah, that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.